The world's coral reefs are increasingly under attack from marine heat waves that kill the coral, according to a new report out this month. It is troubling news since millions of creatures rely on them for survival. Mark Phillips traveled to Australia's Great Barrier Reef to look at a new approach to saving the coral. There's a good reason marine scientist Chris Rolfsma studies coral reefs. Billions of people are depending on coral reefs. We're not just talking about things that are pretty to look at. No, no, this is also food, just a food resource. 25% of all marine species depends on coral reef. But now, to study what's happening down there, scientists are going up. They're using hundreds of shoebox-sized mini-satellites already in orbit to try to save the world's coral reefs. All of them. All of them? Every, everyone? How can you love something if you don't know how much you have? The satellites circle over the North and South Poles as the Earth spins underneath and send back pictures of every square inch of the planet every day, including pictures of the 150,000 or so coral reefs. It's a game changer. Until now, scientists have had to visit individual reefs to monitor their health or lack of it. Never got their seatbelts all secured. This group was heading to Australia's Great Barrier Reef. As research, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's incomplete. What's the difficulty in trying to diagnose just what the health of the reefs is? Is it just there's so much of them and so few of you? Yes, I think you've hit the nail on the head. Just the fact that there's so much reef out there, even when we're responding to something like a bleaching event, mm -hmm. there's only a certain number of scientists. Emma Kennedy has been studying the two recent bleachings here when warming waters kill coral, leaving a white skeleton behind. We've never seen that back-to-back -back bleaching before and satellite products are really going to help us because we're going to be able to look at much bigger areas of reef and space. And that's where the reef mapping satellites come in. It's a really simple, elegant solution. Lauren Kickham runs the project launched by the late Microsoft co-founder and marine enthusiast Paul Allen to combine space and marine science. And if you zoom in, you can see uh, more details of that reef coming up. The satellite pictures are processed by software Chris Rolfsma is developing to automatically color code what is coral, what is sand, what's healthy, what's dying. An online atlas will provide a daily worldwide coral health report. If we know that the reef is under stress, then we maybe say, well, let's not go fishing there, let's not go having tourism there. If we didn't have what we have now, it would take trillions of dollars and 100 years to map the world. And we just don't have that time. It is a race against time. Scientists are expecting another coral bleaching die-off as soon as this year. Mark Phillips, CBS News, on the Great Barrier Reef.